Hey, it's Becca Perry here. I want to teach you how you can use WooFoo.com to create simple surveys and forms for your business. So the first thing you need to do is sign up for a free account and just go to WooFoo.com and fill out this information and click sign up. All right, now you're ready to get started. You can create forms, do reports, you can use themes. I'm just going to show you a really simple form and how to create it because once you get the gist of that you can do some other things on your own. So over here on the right you'll see add new form. You click that and then you get this screen. Right here is the title of your form. It says untitled. When you click this, this pops up. So the green part over here is where you're actually going to type and then you can see it change over here. So let's just title it birthday club. And the reason that pops up is because I've used that before. <laughs> so you can change your description. It will default to that. I usually just kind of take out some of what they say and maybe add something. If you want a longer description about what your form is about or what the, you need for your customer to do with this form, this is where you would type it right here. Okay. Um, you can align things differently. You can change those. Confirmation options. You can um, send the confirmation to you. Um, type all that in and customize it okay um, a lot of times it's good to let them know thanks for filling out my form so that's the confirmation now we need to add forms to our field this is so easy come up here to add a field or you can click here either way and you get these options and these are all the normal options that you're going to use for a form and it's called fancy pants which I love because seriously you're going to look like fancy pants when you do this so most of the time you're going to want their name when you click this look what happens boom done for something like a birthday club we obviously want their address since we're probably going to send them a little package in the mail when you click that all the information will pop up in one big box so nice um, I like to always ask for an email address because I can add them to my email list. Now, once you do this, if you're like, oh, I really would like the email to be up under the name, all you do is click, and I'm going to hold down and drag it up. And you'll notice that when I just um, put my mouse on there, it says click to edit, drag to reorder. So it's very user-friendly. Now, if we want to do something like a drop down box or a check box, all we're going to do is click one of these. I'm going to show you real quickly how I did my birthday club. I use, I love the drop down because it keeps things neat and it's not too um, congested. So, so when I click drop down, you can see it popped it in right here. When I click on it, it shows me the things I need to fill out. So, I'm going to tell them to select your birthday month okay so that's what they need to do that's what they're going to see on their form and then all we're going to do is start down through here january february march okay so let me just show you real quickly excuse me you can double click and it will highlight all that <laughs> actually you don't even have to spell the whole word out however you want to do it Super, I said double click, I didn't work that time. <laughs> so to add the next fields, you're just going to cl keep clicking the little plus symbol and you'll see it show up there. April, April May, I can't get, <laughs> I don't know my months of the year. Okay, so you're just going to keep doing that and for time's sake, I'll just stop there. But, okay, so I don't want it to default to May. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I want it to default to this blank. Okay, so hopefully when I save it, the May will go away. So we'll see. So if that's all we need, then we can save it. Um, obviously, you'd say something more than please fill out. <laughs> How about that? And submit form. Thank you. Okay. Um, you might want to be more specific, like I said. But this is the basis for your form, and you down at the bottom are going to save your form. And you might want to um, save it from time to time. So if you have to get up and leave your computer for some reason, you just don't want to lose all your work. So you can always hit continue editing if you want as well. Now, let's just say we're really curious what this looks like to the user, because on our screen, that's pretty much what it looks like. But we want to know what it really looks like. So you can view the form 
And that's what it looks like. It's very, very basic. So let's go back and we can get a little bit fancy on this one. We can apply a theme. Let me show you how to do that. Okay, I thought it was gonna apply my theme. <laughs> um, oh, I know what, I had set up Becca's brand because I have some colors I like to use. But let's save and let's see. I, I picked the periwinkle, so let's see. It didn't use it. Hmm, I'm not sure what's going on there. Let me try that again. Okay, sorry about that. So if you click Apply Theme, you can choose one of these, make sure it checks it, and then it will give you some color. Um, I actually have my own theme that I created, and you can do that as well. Just click on Create New, and you'll go through several steps creating... Um, choosing colors and that kind of thing. So I'm going to click on my brand so you can see what mine looks like. After I do that, usually I will save the form, but just for time's sake, I'll click on it. You can see those are some of my colors I use in my business. And this is exactly what the form is going to look like to your customer. And you'll be able to see that when they click on the drop down menu, it had all those months um, that we entered. So that's that. It's really fun to create. Um, and use themes. You can use, you could create a birthday club. If you want to do like a sample sale and just, you know, get their basic information and be able to send them an invoice. I mean, it's a really nice little tool to have. Maybe you want to do um, some type of survey if you want to share your business and then get some feedback from your people, um, from your customers about what they thought, that kind of thing. There's so many things that you can use this Wufu um, Survey Monkey. It's Wufu by, it's created by SurveyMonkey. And you can get into SurveyMonkey and do even more things. So hopefully this helps in your business.